did it. WalkerCon 2017, we made it, we're here. So many projects to do while we're staying in the bunkhouse. So much excitement. There's, there's lights to put on the pontoon boat. There's new railings to add. There's a landing to build, a bench. We're gonna do it all. But mostly we're just gonna hang out as a family. WalkerCon 2017. I'm Alex, guest hosting this week, filling in for Bennett. Well, don't worry, we're all here. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, we'll fill you all in, but right now, I got work to do. We need a bench. We want it to slide under the table. It can only be 32 inches with a chair. Uh, this was a piece of scrap that was just the exact, uh, it's exactly too long for what we want exactly too short for anything else. It's gonna make a perfect bench. Picture your booty right here, or maybe here, or maybe here. Not so much, not so much here or here, but more here. Ah, uh, pre-drilling some holes in order to put the screws in, make it look nice. guys, so Kevin right now does not have uh, stairs that meet code, it also doesn't have a place to stand when you open the door, you just, it's time for a landing. And we are uh, hopefully going to get this landing put together with the materials that Bennett just picked up before any children do a crash landing. So now it's time to load the boat. Hey there! We got all the building material for the landing, now we're just taking it into Rattlesnake, we're almost there. Good morning. As you can see, we are dealing with some work stairs that are just not great for safety for kids. Yeah, I know. There's nowhere for us to go. It's time for a landing. And we've got it marked out right from here to here. We'll put in a nice landing. That's the project for today. Alright, just trying to dig some little holes to put these giant bricks in. Let's see how we're doing. I'm sure these have a real name like footing or something fancy, but just placing these for some posts. Hey, we're making progress, slowly but surely. Uh, posts are cut. Get in close for that. Who knows what else is gonna happen, but this deck is gonna be level, left to right. It's gonna be great. And uh, we're ready with our pieces to hook to the house and for the end piece here. So it's uh, it's gonna start happening here real quick. So we put the um, composite decking on for the deck, uh, threw a few screws in just to secure it, and right now I'm going and I'm putting in the rest of the screws with the impact fiber. All right, folks, we are just about wrapping up our week, which means we're wrapping up some of our projects. The new landing, excuse me, it's not even new anymore. It's been here for three days. All it needs is a railing. That's what we're putting in right now. We'll have uh, balusters slotted in here. Finish it up in the next couple weeks. So here we have a project where we are marking the spacing for our balusters. So we could either take this measurement, which is just shy of 42 inches, and take the code, which is it needs to be at minimum four inches of space between the balusters, and balusters are one and a quarter inch. This is a lot of math, isn't it? So an easy tip that we picked up from this old house is to make a storyboard, to make the measurements that we want spaced in between our balusters here, and to then hold this and skew the angle so the angle meets the edge of our rail here. Then this does all that confusing math for us. 
So we just take each of these, square it out, and make a mark. And these are where our balusters will go. <laughs> so now is the most important part of our quality testing. We have our two nieces and our son here to kid test the fence, the railing. Go ahead, kid test, push on it. Clark, over here. Push on it, are you gonna fall off? Is it tall enough? Can you fit through? Can you stick your arm through? Not yet, climb under the railing. Can you stick your leg through? I'll hold your wrist. Can you fall out? Can, can you fall out? Really can through. you stick your head through? through and you'll get a prize. <laughs> Have done it. it! Woo! Here she goes. Go Katya, test it. Oh, can Katya fit through? <laughs> Clark, can you fit through? <laughs> oh, yay! Yay! right here, and we're gonna put some stairs right here. So now that we've put up our railing on two sides, we're gonna start planning on what we want to do with our staircase here. There are a lot of options. If we want to extend the rail out and have the staircase be only partial width of the landing here, or if we want to have the stairs be nice and wide, so you can have two people easily ascending and descending at the same time. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're here on the broads. It's daylight right now, but sometimes we like to take the boat out at night. Look at these lights. It's kind of a disgrace. So let's see what we've got here. Old halogen lights. They don't hold a candle to some nice LEDs. These are normally used for automotive purposes, but here we're going to install them on the boat. Replace the lights, what do you think? And here's what the LED dock lights look like at night. Giving a great view as you dock. Helping us avoid any problems. Hey guys, beautiful day on Lake Winnie today, but at nighttime, we want some more lights in the boat. So we've got some LEDs, non-waterproof. Don't worry, they're going up and underneath. Uh, they'll be out of the water. They'll just provide a little bit of accent lighting. And then we're gonna install these in the cup holders. These are the waterproof LEDs so that we can, you know, see where our beverage is. It'll all be controlled by the accessory switch that right now doesn't do anything. So that's the project. We'll show you how it works tonight. Can you show me how you're putting some lights? One in. Right here. Right there. Oh, not that hole. That's the drain hole. This one. Push. <laughs> oh, push, push. All right, well, don't want to hurt it. There you go. Hold on. 